Well, I do believe it's time to get my backside out of bed and get to a boot sale. Off to Bolton uh, this morning. It, I haven't been for a while to Bolton. In fact, that's not actually true. The last time I went, it was closed because like an idiot, I didn't check the Facebook page to see if it was on or not. Um, so that was a wasted trip. The less said about that, the better. One of the beauties of Bolton is it's a bit of a later start. I mean, it's all relative. I'm not getting up at four o'clock to get off to Bursco and Chirk and the like. It's a little bit closer to me. It's quarter to seven. It's a bit damp this morning, so we could go one of two ways. But I'm the eternal optimist, as you well know. So let's get on the road and see what we can find. <laughs> Nice. Wow, uh, okay. Yeah. What's up, Joe? Don't just say you think they are a nine. Crane, isn't they? Is it Crane from Aldi or something? Yeah, uh, packets in there. Oh, yeah. How much have you got on them? How much have you got on them? Seven quid. Margaret, he's just asked me how much. Margaret! Margaret! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Seven quid. The H, yeah. I'm looking for the reference. Ah, oh, there it is. A one three one four. Oh yeah, it's on the floor. <laughs> I didn't spot. I didn't spot that when I turned the keyboard over. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that's not stepping back in that, is it? <laughs> How much are you going here in 64? 50. two games. Yeah. How you doing, man? How much are you patio cleaners? Well, the gold, all yeah. the gold. How many have you got? I'll take those, mate. I'll take both of those, mate. Yeah, see you later, bro. Nice one, cheers. Come on, cheers, buddy. How much your jackets, pal? It's one, mate. They're, they're two wax. Do what? The two wax ones. Fifty each. Fifty. Got the barber, got another one there, no. Uh, very big pair. Hey, I. And what's on that one? Thirty-five. Would you go 30 on it? No, no worries. No, it's alright. Got to ask, in you? <laughs> and then they're brand new, then when these I've got these brand new. Yeah. Then fleece is brand new. Then they're brand new. Then they're fully waterproof. Then they're smart ones. And I can light and all of them. Yeah, not all of these. I've got them in large and extra large. I'll do that at 35. I'll do that at 35. Oh, yes, yeah, on there, yeah. Good quality coat hangers, them. Yeah. What have we got in your tug 24? Yeah. This one. Yeah, you know your coats, don't you, lad? Oh, yeah. yeah. I want 30 for that. I've had four kings, and I've got you another one I've got. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cheers, my name. Cheers, bro. I got to ask for donation then, you see. All right. I don't, have, I don't ask for um, yeah, the price that used to cost. Well, 
Oh, I saw you. Wow, you just did that. You put up. How much are those, bud? Six. Two quid. We do five on them. Yeah. Nice one. Would you like to keep the shades to sell separately? Because I've no use for the shades. No, not shades. really. No. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm really just trying to make some room. Oh yeah, yeah. Change all my colours, and I'm just trying to make some room. Yeah. Video. Yeah. yeah. There is a very a red theme going on, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Have a good day, Paul. Right, see you later. How you doing, mate? Ah, buddy. Hey, watch this guy, we're being filmed. <laughs> What's the story with these? Have we got the... Uh, Podcast or something. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll vlog for you, Chief. Oh dear. Yeah, yeah. Tony, what's the story with these? Have we got the rechargeable batteries with him? I'm not sure, I'm not 100% sure. Right, okay. So you go, sorry. Uh, it, I vlog, it's I basically car boot sales because I'm a, a reseller, so I vlog what I do and stick it on YouTube, basically, yeah. yeah. It's ABL reselling. ABL reselling. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, video from today will be on probably next Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, that's the expensive bit, that's why I was checking. Got to make yourself oh yeah, get some lippy on quick. <laughs> <laughs> there's only one in there, there's only one in that, isn't there? What will you take for all of them? Give me a dick. One, two, three, four, five. Five at three quid a piece. Twelve quid. <laughs> Top man. Hang on, you want to get that set of film? You've not got that. <laughs> you've got to show you if people are reasonable you are absolutely yeah come to the come and buy from this man at Bolton Boot Sale he's Tony Tony is an honest dealer you're a top man sir cheers my mate cheers man that's Bob on that it's a pleasure speaking to you gentlemen you knew I was coming didn't you <laughs> How's it going, brother? How you doing? Not too stuff. bad. Nice I saw this. I saw this speaker before I saw you. If I'm honest, <laughs> what have you got on it? I'm selling for somebody. He wants eighty for it. But yeah. Whatever. What do you say? I'd say I'd be a million mile away. Thank you. Thanks a lot. What are you saying then? Is it for yourself? No, no. It's uh, it's to flip. It's to flip. What are you saying? I'd be at half that, you know. Tell you what, there's 50. Here's 50, take it away. You know when people give me stuff to sell? Yeah. I'm thinking you should be helping me. Yeah, you know absolutely, I mean? yeah, well, yeah. get me a drink out of it. <laughs> Let me have a look. It's nice, it's it's because it's not Suzuki, if you know what I mean. That's the only thing that's putting me off. It's not Suzuki? No, no. What do you mean? It, it says Suzuki on it, but it's just... Um, it's just baggy, I, I suspect like, like it, yeah, yeah. It'd be like um, um, made in Pakistan kind of thing. There's a lot of um, leathers made in Pakistan. Yeah. That's so. where they make the footballs and that, yeah. don't they? That's it. Yeah. Is there nothing inside here. No, I wouldn't have thought. I've not seen you for a while. Where have you been? Oh, I've been all over. What do you mean all over? Uh, I've been going to Chirk a few times. Like in fact, last couple of Sundays. It's going to be dating now. So last couple of Sundays, not been out. Yeah, mate. <laughs> Them lamps will look nice in the house, won't they? Yeah, definitely. Here, I'll show you. So, the ones that aren't official Suzuki, 50 oh. quid. The genuine Suzuki ones, just by contrast, 190 quid. All right. Oh, Go on, then take it. I know you do your research. Yeah. Oh, well, you have to, didn't you? Oh, well, you have yeah, to. Yeah. These are all brand new. 
Are they? Upside apart from upside down. <laughs> they drill shoes. Yeah. That looks like a that's a NATO stock number that isn't it? Yeah, the same as well. That number there, A430929297, yeah. that's a, a eight, that's a NATO stock number. Yeah, the CMC so, going for. Got four lots. Yeah. Well I'm glad I've come to see you anyway. It was getting it's getting a bit bleak today for the pickups. Oh of course, yeah, yeah. How much are they these? How much are they these? How much, how much are they going for? I can pay. Tell me, tell me to sit down before you tell me the price. What did you do with ten or a pair? Um, 10, 20, 30, 40. It gives 45. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. That's fair, that. How about this when you're packing all your stuff? <laughs> on eBay. <laughs> I did go for a stage of using that stuff. It ends up everywhere. I, know. <laughs> I need to get rid of these today. Can't be going on with them. <laughs> <laughs> you might be going on, home on them. <laughs> oh, nice one. Okay. Cheers. Good no, to see you. So, and you, sir. And you. In fact, I, I was worried about filling this bloody trolley for us, are you? See <laughs> <laughs> a bit, Paul. How you doing, man? What have you got now? Yeah, that'd be like a. Is it a small or a medium? Medium, Would you go 25? <laughs> yeah. What about your uh, Triumph Leathers uh, padded jacket? Yeah, I'll have a look at them as well. I'll do 30 on that anyway. Oh, it's kids one, isn't it? Is it a kids one? No, no, it's a medium. Oh, okay. I'm committing myself to this money, and I don't know if I've got I bloody spent a load. It started really slow. Yeah. Uh, it's already on 40 quid. Yeah, sounds days. Need a bigger bloody trolley. Yeah. Oh, on. Cheers. Have a good one, Paul. Yeah. What have we got on that, boss? 40 quid, mate. £400 jacket, man. I didn't know it's a nice jacket. Yeah. Got for leather. What have you got in your Humax, pal? 50, mate. 50. Got the solder bits there with it, mate. Yeah, yeah. It's a brand new one, mate. Yeah, looks it. Bolton, Bolton, Bolton. Oh, what a way to turn a frown upside down. It started off really slow this morning and sometimes you might get it yourself where, I wanna say it almost a can't be asked feeling. I'm sure everybody gets that. I mean, we're only human at the end of the day. But I think once you get in the swing of things, once you get up to speed, today turned out to be a good result. I've said it before and I'll say it again, Bolton Boot Sale is the most consistent boot sale of the year. I have been here and picked up absolutely bugger all. It's not been through lack of people trying to sell me stuff, to be fair, but sometimes that's the way things pan out. On a whole, it's been absolutely blinding this year. I know there's a few more left. Bolton runs into December, I believe. I was just, <laughs> this is starting to turn into a sponsored video. I was just talking to the organizer there, actually. Really nice chap. I think he said his name is Andrew. Um, you'll have to excuse me if I'm wrong there. Um, and he said, because of the videos from this year, I don't have to pay to come in anymore. So that saves me a whole pound a week, which is an absolutely lovely gesture. Thank you very much, sir. Oh! Alrighty then, let's get everything home, take you through what I picked up, and let you know how much it's getting listed for. I will see you after a Mackey's breakfast and a short nap.
Now, did I mention that I do like the bottom boots out? Some interesting pickups today, some good ones, and one example of utter muppetry. I'm not going to beat myself up. I'm only human. It's important to make cock-ups to learn from them, and hopefully me making cock-ups will mean that you don't have to. Let's get straight into it, then I'll strap the GoPro to my head and take you through what I got. So total spend today was £214, and for that I got 18 pickups. It's not immediately obvious which is the cock up, but just to add insult to injury, I did decide to set the washing machine going as I did this part of the video. So excuse the noise in the background. <laughs> First out of the gate today are these brand spanking new British Army issue parade shoes. Four pairs of them, and the one thing that gives it away, I didn't actually see this number on the box, but the one thing that does give it away is inside, I know a number that is a series of four two three and four numbers you just make it out just there that is a nato stock number which tells me these are army issue and just to reaffirm that on the box it actually does say nsn and then the number it's a military stocking number basically not staggering value on these but because they're brand new i'm going to stick a listing value of 35 pound each on them loving my barber stuff this wax jacket does look a bit wear worn it is a medium i think size 38 chest which will be a medium checked all the zips on them all in good order barber wax jackets are an excellent 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 seller did pay up a little bit for this but i know the returns there listing value on that 70 quid and next the cock up of the day uh, this is a PG, another wax jacket by PG Field. Uh, again, a decent brand. I have sold a brown wax jacket by PG Field just recently. This one looks nicer, actually. I suppose, obviously, it's a matter of taste. But the reason it's a cock up is I paid £30 for it, I want to say. Might have been 35 And I'm just going to be, a, I'm going to roundabout break even on it. Did get carried away. Shouldn't have really picked it up at that kind of price. It's a good brand, but you need to be paying less than 20 quid really because the listing value on that is £45, even though it's in absolutely immaculate condition and wax jackets sell really well. Preferably barber, but at this time of year, any wax jackets are good news. Pay the reason it was a cock up, like I say though, is because I paid too much for it compared to the return. Now, this quite impressive looking jacket really from the same chap I got the uh, shoes off bought off this guy on a number of occasions now absolutely lo lovely bloke when you're looking at motorcycle jackets like this um, particularly ones that say it's uh, I've got the motorcycle manufacturer decals on obviously in this case Suzuki don't assume that it's genuine Suzuki now I won't be listing this as a Suzuki jacket but I will be listing it as Suzuki on it if that makes sense because this just it isn't a Suzuki jacket uh, jackets like this are mass produced in the likes of uh, China, a lot in Pakistan. This has got the armour in it, such as it is. It's pretty poxy army, to be honest, in the, in the back. And in the elbows, it's just padded, which leads me to suspect it's a little bit more of a vintage jacket because the newer ones have a hard armour in. All the zips are in good order, though. Eye-catching, especially on the run-up to Christmas. This will be bought as a present, I would imagine, because it's a cool-looking thing. I'm probably undervalued value in this i'll be honest because of the time of year i'm going to stick a listing value of 70 pound on it but because of the time of year and because of the condition i may well revise that up when it comes to listing but for the video i'm going to stick 70 pound on it a number of bt phones now believe it or not people still use landlines got chatting to the guys about the channel who were selling these lovely lads bit of a selection there's a bt freestyle 2000 it's got an alarm clock radio on those as well two of those listing value 20 pound each bt studio 1100 single and bt studio 1100 twin 12 pound and 18 pound and the BT Synergy 3105, £12 on that. One thing to check, I know I've mentioned this before, but I'll say it again. I think I said it to the guys earlier in the video as well. I did go through, the, through these boxes, making sure that the rechargeable batteries are in there because rechargeable batteries are expensive. So that needs factoring into your margin if you're picking them up. Always check that they're present because it does save you a few quid if they are. And people expect them to be supplied with the batteries. You guys know I'm a big lover of picking up lamps. These are not brass they're brushed steel really brass effect but the corinthian column lamps so 
even though they're not brass and they just feel a bit they're not vintage definitely not vintage but because of the style of them that's why i picked them up because very very popular styles listing value on those 20 pound i bin the lampshades as i do in 99% of instances when I'm picking up lamps because people buy lampshades to go with the color schemes and lampshades almost always look manky secondhand. I genuinely think when people are looking for lamps online anyway, they look for the shades separately anyway. Do love a thermos. I probably paid up a little bit for this, to be honest, at £5. Uh, it was the same guy I got the Suzuki jacket and the, the shoes from. So I don't mind in those instances when I'm coming going back and not argue, not haggling on price as much with, with people like that because uh, I know that he's really fair with me and I'd like to be fair with him as well. Uh, there is margin in this nonetheless. I paid five for it, like I say. Listing value on that £18. I have got up to £30 for thermos uh, flasks before now. And for the life of me, I don't know. I don't know why some of them go for higher values than the other. I think what I'm really trying to say is I can't remember which models are the better value ones. <laughs> thermos flasks anyway, often sold very cheap. Definitely worth picking up. Now, earlier in the year, I picked up a load of Ferrex uh, patio washers. These are a brand spanking new. Ferrex is synonymous with Aldi, I believe. I, during the summer, I was getting about 30 quid a time for these. I paid the same price for these as I did earlier in the year, £10 each. Price has come down. Not entirely sure why, but it has. Not significantly though. Listing value on those will be £25 each. I'm finishing off with some more bike gear. I thought this was a two-piece uh, textile motorcycle suit at first, but different brands. The jacket caught my eye first because the big T gave it away. This is a Triumph paddock jacket. I thought it was a kid's size as well. It's a, a medium. Good nick though. The armor's in the elbows and in the back. There's a bit of wear to it, but no damage. All the zips and fasteners are in good order doesn't need any cleaning listing value on the jacket on its own 55 pound unbranded textile motorcycle jackets i'm really not picking up because th there isn't the margin there really but if the branded particularly harley davidson but triumph any of the main motorcycle manufacturers like suzuki like say yamaha honda so on and so forth definitely worth having a look at and check comps but on the pants i thought because they actually do suit the jacket i did think it was a, a suit i'm tripping over my own words here <laughs> uh, the brand is xc ting exciting <laughs> Uh, which uh, they're not very exciting really no armor in these and it sh they should be i will be selling these as well because they are waterproof pants they are they are quilted so be handy for people riding in the winter i would have preferred armor in them but i won't be going to the extent of buying armor to go in them more than made my money back on the jacket from this seller anyway so the pants i'm just going to put a listing value of 10 pound on and i think they'll fly at that so a good takeaway from today's video would be, well, on, in the vein of learning from my mistakes, is don't get complacent with checking comps. And that was a really, really good example of me thinking I had it sorted there because I've had experience selling a certain brand or a certain style and getting tripped up because I didn't check comps. In this game, research is absolutely vital. It saves you making a fool of yourself. It saves you losing money, most importantly. And it takes a minute of your time to do. Now this coming week, I'm going to attempt to go to a brand new midweek boot sale. I know, in October, who'd have thunk it? But a recommendation from a lovely chap in the ABL reselling community group on Facebook. A little bit further afield, off over to Lincoln potentially. So watch out for that. I will be videoing it because I love going to new places, meeting new people. If you do want to stay up to date on my content, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell will obviously give you a notification of when I post videos up. Thanks very much again for watching the video, guys. I've been Dave Keith. You've been amazing. See you soon.